My name is Robin Lee. Welcome to Buzz on the Bluffs, Vicksburg, Mississippi's Community Insight Program. We'll be taking a look at people, places, and events that impact our community. Thanks for joining us. My guest today is Greg Peltz. Welcome, Greg. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you here. You're running for Warren County Circuit Clerk. I'm the interim clerk now, Circuit Clerk. I was appointed uh, May 19th and took office uh, the next morning. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you have decided to run for this election. Well, I knew that this was coming open for a little while. I mean, the headlines of the paper, you know, said it all. And I wanted to bring integrity back into the office, which I, I feel that I have. Uh, people come in smiling, and of course we greet everybody and uh, show them whatever they need to see, you know. And it's just, I'm really thrilled to be there. It's, it's a very good position. And I want to wish everybody that's running the best of luck. I mean, if it's not meant for me to have it, if God don't want me to have it, I won't get it. Uh, but I wish everybody the best of luck. But it is an exciting position. You, you never, never a dull moment. You always have something to do uh, anywhere from, you know, registering uh, voters to taking fine payments and restitution to marriage license to Supreme Court appeals and just on and on and on, Robin. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your background and what, what you did before you landed where you are right now. Okay, well actually I came out of retirement uh, to take this, but I've been in business with family uh, for 30 years and uh, we had a family business and all of my in-laws, brother-in-laws, mother-in-law, father-in-law, my wife, everybody, you know, worked the business. and. Uh, Father-in-law got a little old and he wanted to turn. I went to work for Radio Shack Corporation. I felt that was a good company, which it was back then, and uh, became district manager and ran 30 stores with 200 salespeople and approximately $20 million volume per year. And uh, that was that was very good. And, uh, I made some differences in several stores and uh, actually taught the managers how to, to increase their bottom line, how to make a profit. Since then, uh, I've been taking it easy for the last few years and then I knew this was going to be coming available. So I interviewed with uh, three other people and uh, was chosen and went into office uh, May 20th. And like I said, it's a very exciting position and everybody that comes in can see the difference and they, they comment on what a big difference it is. And of course, we still have a ways to go. That's why I wanna run and finish what I started. And it's just, it's just real good. I think I can increase productivity in the office Plus, I'm, I'm really wanting to add a few other things to our daily routine, if I can find the right ones. And to give you an example, um, I wanted to add passports, but right now they're not taking on any new clients. Uh, different things like that to increase the volume of the office. Um, like I say, it's just an exciting place to be. You know, you're in court, you're out of court, you're talking with lawyers, you're talking with, with the general public, and of course everyone is welcome to come up anytime they want to, and we'll give them a tour of the office. Um, one thing that I'm trying to do, I've talked to Judge Patrick and Judge Cheney, and I still have to talk with Judge Price, but. I'm wanting to get with the schools one at a time, naturally. I talked to a guidance counselor. What I want to do is bring in about 10 students that are maybe having some problems, writing on, right on the fence post, could fall either way, and let them sit through court with us one day and let the judge talk to them a little bit and see if we can help them better their self. Mm -hmm. 
and that's one of my goals, and that should be coming pretty soon. So, but uh, I'm I'm really excited to be there, and and I hope the public will consider me, you know, for this election. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you wanted me to be sure and ask you uh, before we wrap this up? No, I'd just like to say keep gray. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Greg. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. All right.